Welcome back, my dear friends, to another tarot reading. In today's reading, I'm going to take a look and see what is coming through for you, what you can expect, you know, of the person that you're thinking of, you know, how they're feeling, any thoughts, just any clarity that you need at this time about them. So we're going to see what's coming through with that. Before I do get started, I want to let you guys know that I do offer personal readings. I'm an Akashic reader. I offer same-day readings, love readings, general readings, starseed origins, all kinds of different stuff. You can check that out in my description box below. I also just launched my moon membership meetings that will begin November 23rd. I'm super excited about this. We're going to be meeting two times a month discussing the moon's energy, the theme, and then how we can use this in a practical way to change our own lives. Um, if you're interested in that, that is part of my top tier, the Cosmic Traveler tier. It's only $33 a month. It includes the moon membership, a free reading every month, exclusive posts, Discord community, and I just added the Akashic Awakening workbook, which is on my shop for $22, but if you join the Cosmic Traveler tier, then you get it for free, like I said, for $33. Uh, 33. So it's a very good deal. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in any of that, please check out my description box below, and let's Tap into this energy here and get into your reading to see how your person is thinking, feeling. What can we expect? I'm going to give this a little more shuffle here. Oh, we're already getting a lot of stuff. Universe, what can my dear friends expect from your person? What clarity do we need? What energy is coming through? Bless my dear friends. Ooh. Okay, we're going to start out with this because I feel like you guys have been going through a lot of um, a lot of pain. So for some of you, I feel like the pain keeps being rehashed. I don't know why, but that word just popped up in my head that it's like you get going and you can see clearly the path that you want to go down and you want to maybe move forward, but then something just keeps being brought back up and brought to the surface here. That is very painful. Hmm. You'll have to let me know in the comments below how that resonates. And then for some of you, definitely this is just pain. Look at this, you guys. We have two threes. Some of you, your person, um, they went to a third party. They went to someone else. They thought someone else was going to be better. Hmm. I feel like they were very immature. But let me tell you, when we see two threes, this means um, that a surprise is coming through for you, okay? So there's going to be unexpected surprise coming through for you, even though we're going through this heartbreak. Um, I feel like you guys, that this person stepped away from you because they met someone else that they thought was better. Grass is greener, so, you know, kind of thing. I think I wanted to say syndrome. <laughs> Grass is greener syndrome. But this was a very immature move on their part. This person wasn't thinking. Let's see what else is coming through. Let me make sure my stuff is lined up here for you guys. Ooh, look at this. We have two wands. Look. So in one one thing we have, I feel like this person really they became emotional about this person or they became emotionally attached to someone. But logically, they know that it isn't the right thing to do. So I feel like this person is like back and forth with their energy, even though it's like I said, it's kind of immature here. They're back and forth with their energy and like they know better than like what they did was wrong. But um, and now they're starting to second guess themselves. They're starting to see that what they did was not the best move. <laughs> and so that's why I feel like we see these two pages here. They're almost like you know, okay, I'm going this way and I'm going that way. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's kind of the energy this person is giving off at this time. They're back and forth in their head. They can't make up their mind here. We also have the um, Ace of Wands, which shows me that this person is going to get just like this intuitive inspiration and download. They're going to be inspired. They're going to go, oh my goodness. I feel like this is kind of the energy that, you know, has been happening 
they became emotionally attached to someone. They thought that this other person was for them. They began, you know, hanging out with them, discussing different things with them, working with them. And maybe this person was from their work. Um, that's how they connected. Um, but then all of a sudden, I feel like there's this spark of inspiration, this download of information of, wait a minute, this is kind of a delusional thing that I'm doing here. This this doesn't really make sense. Like all of a sudden, I feel like this is just this spark that, like I said, instant download coming through. Let me see what else is coming through. We have the four of pentacles. Oh, we also have the six of cups. They're hanging on to the past memories of you guys. This is what is giving them the inspiration. They're thinking of you. They're hanging on to it. They, <laughs> this is what is making them change their mind. Where before, I feel like, like I said, they were almost blinded. They were almost delusional, caught up in that emotion. When we have too much emotion and we're not grounded, we float away and water is part of delusion dreams and us being able to not really see clearly when we have too much water going on here and that's why I say this is an immature energy but as this person starts to kind of wake up and realize what they have done they are going oh, you know I just I made a huge mistake I really miss this person I really miss you let's see what else is coming through I feel like they want to um like I said they're hanging on to your memory I feel like they compare the, you know, you to this other person. They compare um, you to other people in their life. Let's see what else. We have the two of pentacles also. We have the eight of pentacles and we have the five of cups. You guys, this person really is sad about walking away. They're really sad about it. I feel like, I feel like they do a lot of things to distract themselves though. Their energy is they won't fully face what they have done yet that is what's going on right now so if you're not in communication with this person they are denying themselves they're denying their own um, thoughts and energy they're distracting themselves is what I feel like from actually making a decision of reaching out making a decision of wanting to step away from this other person at this time they're back and forth I'm getting that energy a lot this person can't make up their mind however there's this Something that always reminds them of you. Like you can't, they, like they can't stop thinking of you. Like the universe keeps bringing things up that like they can't stop seeing you in different things. They can't stop seeing you in everything around them. So even though they try very hard to distract themselves, they can't. Because I feel like this is the universe reaching out to you. So I feel like you guys have been very strong in this situation. Um... I feel like you guys have stepped back and given this person their space and this they're now scared they're like oh my gosh they did like they did what i said they gave me my space they're not reaching out now and now this is scaring them they think they messed up they think that they maybe have lost that chance with you at this time so you can expect maybe this person to want to like okay i want to change this and fix this they're going to want to fix this really quickly when they get that realization of how scary it is to actually lose you like they are that scared that's what i feel like when they come to this realization because they see that your energy is so beautiful you're the person that they want to be with here um, you are so strong you have literally done everything they have requested your energy is mature and they see that and like i said this person is terrified to lose you let's see um i want to pull on judgment here because I see this as messages and changes and of like literally just this insight. Look at this. They want to reach out and tell you how beautiful you are, how wonderful you are. Like they see you as this, you know, <laughs> beautiful goddess or, you know, God energy here that is literally able to do anything. We have the Queen of Wands and the Empress. You are beautiful to them. You guys look at this. And like I said, this is going to be a sudden insight and download for them. And when they get it, they're going to jump so quickly because of the fear of losing you. That's what I pick up. But I feel like this may be something that will be going on over the next couple weeks. And so if you aren't in communication, leave this person alone. They're going to be terrified. They're terrified because you're not communicating with them, because you listened to what they said, because you gave them their space, because you backed off. Yeah. Yeah. I know that's scary sometimes too. You think, okay, what's the person doing? What are they thinking? They're forgetting about me. 
No, they can't stop thinking of you. The universe is showing that and everything that they do, you know, it reminds them of you, every person, everything, because there was this special connection and bond here. And they know this. You can't deny that connection and bond. And I feel like you guys felt that too. So when you do feel like that, you know, you're not crazy. It is hard sometimes. Somebody's telling you one thing. I don't like you. I don't want to be with you. However, you know deep down that there's something more going on. That's difficult. That is a very difficult thing. And that's why I feel like there's this pain here. But just know to stick to yourself. Stick to working on yourself. I would not reach out to this person at this time because this is what's bringing through the fear for them. They think they've lost you and they're terrified. So they're going to be reaching out so quickly and they're going to confess everything that, you know, how they feel for you. Be ready for that. Like be ready for them to confess how wonderful you are, how what they think of you, all the feelings that they have for you here. So that's going to be happening over the next couple weeks, you guys. I think that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope you guys have a super blessed day.